Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy. Today I'm looking at a hopefully upcoming game called Dual Universe. Um, the video you're seeing here is uh, of course pre-alpha and it's from their press kit that you can download off their homepage. Now before we start I just want to make a quick disclaimer. This is not a sponsored video. Um, the developers, I don't even know, I don't even really think they know that I'm doing this video. Um, so this is just going to be my honest opinion about how the game looks so far and, and, and what I think about it. I already backed the game and it's, uh, it's available on, uh, on Kickstarter um, if you find it interesting as well. I'll put a link in the description below um, where you can have a look at it afterwards. So the story of the game is that um, Earth has been destroyed and um, a few humans or quite a few humans have been sent out with this Ark ship um, have been traveling for 10,000 years um, and it's now landed on a new planet. And from here, we, uh, the players, need to rebuild um, civilization from the ground up. Um, and that means that there is, um, right off the bat when the game launches, there is nothing. There are planets, of course, um, and the, the whole uh, planets and solar systems are in place. But there are no ships, there are no stations, there are no uh, cities, there's nothing. All that has to be built. Um, by players. So for instance, as we can see here, there's a huge space station above us. And if we're going to see space stations like that, we will have to, they will have to be player built. Um, and same goes with all the ships that you have to, uh, to fly in the game, they have to be player built. And they're using a quite, uh, quite neat voxel system, um, much like uh, they do in, uh, in Minecraft. So the game is, uh, I think it's kind of a hybrid between uh, Elite Dangerous, No Man's Sky and uh, Minecraft. Um, it's an um, MMO, so it's going to be everybody in just one big server, one big universe. Um, so it's a very open, sandbox-ish uh, game. Um, so that's a bit like uh, like Elite. Um, it has the whole uh, exploration feel, um, and gameplay is also very uh, like uh, No Man's Sky. And then you of course have the whole um, building stuff, as you can see in the video here, which reminds me quite a bit of... Uh, um, of Minecraft. Um, but yeah, so the idea is that you are um, you're one of the, the humans that arrived uh, with the Ark ship. You now have to uh, to rebuild civilization um, as you see fit. Um, and you can pretty much do anything you want. Um, if you want to have a small, fast ship um, and fly around be uh, and be a pirate and, and harass people, you can do that. Um, they will put safe zones in place, uh, they talked about that at least, and especially around the Ark ship, so there will be zones where uh, there will be non-combat zones, but uh, I think large parts of the universe are meant to be um, uh, be actual um, PvP zones, where you could potentially um, be attacked by other players. But you could also choose to be, uh, let's say you want to be a trader, you want to build a, a ship with a large cargo hold and fly around and trade between the different outposts that people are building. There's also um, going to be a political element in the game, um, 
where they are they're encouraging people to make player groups that will um, fight for territory so you can claim lands on the planets that you can then I guess harvest for resources or I don't really know what they're, what they're going to use that element for um, but I guess we'll have to uh, to wait and see um, but you can also play the game solo. You will still play in uh, it's still a multiplayer game, so you will still be playing with other people. But if you don't do not want to be part of a huge uh, player uh, organization or player group, you can go solo, get yourself um, a smaller ship, and then just fly around. Maybe yeah, small scale trading or being a pirate. Um, you can, as I said, you can build everything you need, large uh, stations, even uh, massive capital ships where they would need uh, multiple crew members to fly. Um, so you could have one or two persons being in charge of navigation and, and a few people being in charge of uh, weapons and people who have different tasks on, uh, on the ship. Which is something I find uh, very interesting because there's many, I've seen many games trying to implement this, um, but in many cases they end up not doing it. But the fact that people can design the ships exactly as uh, as they want, I think, is, is is the right way to go if you want multi crew, because then you can design this ship to the crew members you have and not the other way around, that you have to get the right people for the ship in order to use it properly. Um, but yeah. That's uh, I think is pretty much it. Um, if you find it interesting, I go over to um, to the Kickstarter page and and have a look. Um, tell me what you think about the game. Give the video a like down below, and if you want want more news about the game as uh, as they come, subscribe to the channel. I'll try to uh, to keep an eye on this uh, in the future, and hopefully uh, it will be backed. Um, so yeah, until next time, I'll see you in space.